Now, NBC5 responds, and an Elmhurst couple says that they're out more than $4,000 after hiring a well-known gutter guard company. And they're just the latest on a growing list of customers who are upset that the business is not answering their calls or issuing refunds. NBC5's PJ Rondawa finds out from former employees what might be behind the company's silence. The small sticks and small leaves, they're honey locust trees. We have three of them. The Manfredis know Chicago winters. There's all sticks in the gutters already. So Frank and Monica Manfredi hired Spring Rock Gutters last November to install gutter guards and help winterize their home. Well, these came in the... A lot of advertisement, and like I said, my friend... Our friends uh, used them. It was like all good reviews. They signed a contract for $8,600 and put half down. They were told install would be six to eight weeks. But by mid-December, Frank says he couldn't get hold of anyone at the company. And there was no answer. I went there, I walked around, trucks are all open, the building is empty. NBC5 response found starting in early December, similar complaints began popping up on Yelp and with the Better Business Bureau. And just days ago, the BBB suspended the company's accreditation for, quote, failure to address marketplace disputes. So we continue to sell. This is considered fraud. NBC5 response tracked down the Spring Rock gutter salesman who sold the Manfredis their gutter guards. He asked us to conceal his identity to protect his new job. He's now running his own gutter company. We needed people to, to, to do jobs and their, their, the jobs couldn't be done because either the installers were getting paid or the subcontractors weren't getting paid or, or essentially what we get on material wasn't getting paid as well. These customers don't deserve this. Rochelle Primus ran Spring Rock's call center until she left in late November after weeks of delayed paychecks and sometimes no pay at all. We didn't receive payment for November until the first week of December and I'm still waiting for a paycheck for week ending thanks Thanksgiving week. So I was starting to get calls from vendors. Um, hey, you know, this is late. The rent is late. Documents show the employees paid for health insurance through the company out of every paycheck. So imagine their surprise when they received thousands of dollars in unexpected medical bills last summer because their coverage had suddenly been canceled. And my kids were uh, injured. So how much did you have to pay out of pocket? I'm still fighting that, but you're looking at about $21,000. Rochelle has since filed a complaint with the Department of Labor. We weren't given the reasons why payroll was late, why we didn't have health insurance. We weren't given that courtesy, but our customers deserve that courtesy. We reached out to company co-owner and manager Anita Ranke. She told us the Manfredis won't be getting a refund because it would violate their contract. She also states the installation dates on their contract are not guaranteed, but she will try to get them installed when she can. I don't think it was malicious. I think she was in over her head. Getting a look behind the Spring Rock curtain doesn't leave the Manfredis with much hope they'll get their money back. If they can just get the materials, Frank says he can do the rest himself. Give me the product. You don't have to install it. You want him up there on a ladder doing that type of thing? Yeah, for forty-three hundred dollars. Yeah, he can go up. On, he can go up on the ladder. Spring Rock manager Anita Ranke also tells us that any employees owed their final paychecks will be paid, but she couldn't tell us when. She also confirms her employees' health insurance did lapse last year due to office issues, but she says the insurance premiums employees paid for that period will be refunded. PJ Randawa, NBC5, responds.